Hey, welcome to The Decision Reel, where we try and fail to review movies of today and yesterday. This week, our hosts are yours truly, Steve. We got Randall and Wally. You, on, like, you like my blanket? Yeah, he's getting a nice nap in. I came here to, after work early to get my sleeps on. Came down and woke him up. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> 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 they both said... Uh, would you, you guys like, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> good morning. Oh, you guys are sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to come downstairs and be like, hey... Wake the fuck up. No, Get up. No, no, I stole fucking little boy's blanket and <laughs> passed straight out on this couch. I like it. This mm-hmm. week, though, we are doing a movie that uh, somebody picked who just isn't here. Uh, Brent picked She's Out of My League. And if you've been paying attention, the last episode we did, Goon, had the same actor in it. And hockey in it. Oh, yeah. Jay Bird. Burr. 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 It's like a Canadian. Sound it out. It's like a it Canadian out. thing, Burr-shell? isn't it, Steve? Burr- 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 what? Isn't that guy Canadian? He is, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Canadian yeah. as shit? Yeah, so, Jay Baruchel. 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 You know what close. my favorite movie that he's, what is it? Uh, Knocked Up. Yeah, it's so fucking good. The Schmishmorschen Clinic. <laughs> Not saying <laughs> you should go get a Schmishmorschen, <laughs> but it rhymes with Schmishmorschen. <laughs> so good. It is really good. Bitch, hormones. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to hormones. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, this movie, She's Out of My League, uh, I've watched this a lot, but I haven't seen it in some time. I remember... It's been forever for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I haven't... Was this a one and done for you guys? No, no, I've always kind of caught this movie, like, at a glance. Like, every once in a while, it'd pop glance. up on, like, Ooh. a streaming service, and I'd be like, oh, I okay, yeah, in a while, you know? I remember it was on, like, Stars or HBO or something for a while, and, like... It would just show up, and I'd be like, "All right." I'm I don't think I've ever that. gone out of my way to like watch it again after the first time. Okay, but I do see it every once in a while. I'm like, oh, I remember that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to click it. Don't know why. Just I've seen it. I don't uh, know if I, I can just watch it on a repeat. I'll say it's a very pedestrian movie to where what the like fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's just like a, a what? Uh, what 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 it's just <laughs> like a. No, I thought you were trying to say something. It's just like a. <laughs> Like a normal type movie where there's nothing like out of the ordinary, there's nothing super special about it. It's pedestrian. It feels like that era of it feels like a Steve movie to me at this point, you know? It's just, you just Steve, come up with that Steve saying? has his shtick. What's saying with the pedestrian? pedestrian. No. No pedestrian. Like the pedestrian set, like, just relatively means relatively to what he's talking you about. You just said what when he said it. Don't act like you know. No, I said, well no, I explained no, it and then he got it. Yeah. Oh, no, hold on. Don't, you, don't, don't, don't jump down his throat for me. <laughs> this man just woke up. Yeah, I, I am. I'm You're on right, my. Sorry. I got my Arnie Palmer mm-hmm. here. I'm in my, right, my Christmas me. blanket. Well, kind of. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's like a bandana blanket. Bandana blanket. Like I know what a pedestrian is relative to what Steve was trying to. The analogy he was trying to trying to create. I did not. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Are you Yoda in that over there? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, Christ Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is, that, like like I said, the movie just doesn't like stand out on its own. There's yeah. nothing about it that's like extraordinary or crazy over the top or like, wow, you guys got to see this movie. It's kind of like, yeah, it was pretty good. You should see it. Oh, yeah. I think it's worth that. 100%. Mm-hmm. It feels like that that late teenage, early adult angsty movie. Like the they, they made a bunch of them, you know? Yeah, and especially around this time, the yeah. 2010-ish era. You're right, yeah. Was it 2000? Uh, when did this come out? We'll, we'll get oh, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have talking. a we have an order to things. We have a schedule here. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or a script. A tight fucking ship here. <laughs> I do. I run a tight ship sometimes. Depends. If you show oh, no. up. What? You, tr- you try. <laughs> I try to run a tight ship. He's also mildly passive-aggressive. <laughs> Me? Never. <laughs> no. Not me. Somebody. I don't, I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about Brent, here. you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you watch this. Steve, cut this. Like, Brent, you Wait. fucking fuck. Wait, how, how, how much can I cuss? Can, is there too much cussing for YouTube, Steve? You can say whatever you want to say. Brent, you fucking cock fuck. <laughs> you, cock, <laughs> you cock meat sandwich. <laughs> it's supposed to be a quad man show. Four. That's four. And then you have your pee-pee and your booty. 
that's well, probably somewhere well maybe somewhere yeah I mean, you never know with him, right? Yeah. He could be could bending be it backwards, own. yeah. Not, <laughs> Who knows? That's not reaching over there. His isn't, no. <laughs> but reach around. He could have made a mold of his own. and I don't know what he's doing over there. Anyways, she's out of my league. What it's about. <laughs> An average Joe meets the perfect woman, but his lack of confidence and the influence of his friends and family begin to pick away at the relationship. I think they both have issues in this. Yes. Yeah. I feel and, like they both. Not just him, right? It, that's, a good, that's a good thought. You know what? Because... It makes it seem more real. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. she's perfect. No, she's not. She's got uh -huh. her own issues. You know, like when that Cam guy shows up, you can tell she's like, she sees him and says, hey, Cam, like in yeah, the yeah. restaurant area, not he's coming in doing his thing. So she's still trying to probably get over that breakup. In reality, she even says to him, that's the reason why she went out with him is yeah, yeah, yeah. he seems safe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That actually is. I know we're not we're not doing our favorite scenes, but yeah, that would no, be a fun. notable scene for me is the when they're they're arguing in the the oh, bedroom, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. house or whatever, the and they're toes. getting in it, and she's like, "Go ahead," he's like trying to get her to like actually open up. Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, this seems very <laughs> at home for me. It feels realistic." Yeah, and I'll say the movie does feel very realistic, like you said, because all the the dialogue in the movie or like was there any the black people in this movie? Sorry, <laughs> no. Was this white? I don't, I don't think that this is the whitewash oh! motherfucker. <laughs> You're right. Thinking about it, I don't think there there's even like anybody of color. There's no like you know no. Indians. There's no 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 Asian. Yeah. yeah yeah. This one's this one's pretty. Never thought. I didn't think about it until just now. This but very but moment. but there's no like joke to like make it r like that bad to where you would think about it. So to me, the movie where this, just where does this take place at? Pennsylvania. So it is a white uh, white town. Well, there's black people. In I thought it was going to be more. Is it so, <laughs> Steel City? Is there more black people in Pennsylvania as opposed to Canada? I think you're the yeah, person. I'm, I'm, I would say, depending on where you are, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So Canada's predominantly white. It's right. Why? Obviously. Ag again, depending on where you are in and the country. Indian, where I went. So, a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. Where so, it be? like. <laughs> what? In major cities, it would be diverse. In outlying cities, it would just be. European white people, like so like white. Polacks and <laughs> Slovakian yep. people and Slovakian, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where to watch? She's out of my league. Currently, the only way you can watch it, you can't watch it anywhere for free. But if you have a subscription, you can watch it on Paramount Plus. Not, you can rent it. Not BET. Not BET. Not Definitely, BET. it ain't gonna be on <laughs> BET. But you can rent it on uh, YouTube, Google Play, Amazon, and Apple TV. Uh, if you have Prime, it was free. Yeah, that's where I, I watch it. Was Prime. It when I looked at it, it said you had to use so a there subscription. Was a, there was a prime one, and then there was a normal one. Oh, yeah. I take that back. You can also watch it on Amazon Prime with, <laughs> with a subscription. subscription. Yeah, that's where I, that's where I watched okay. it. Nope. Um, I always just type it in Google and whatever it tells me. Well, that that's I what I did too, and it didn't say that to me. It said with a subscription only mm. to uh, Paramount Plus. There was some other like Philo TV, but nobody's got that. No, no. no. If you do have it, please tell we. Give the us one password. person who's on it, tell me we're wrong. That's what we need. You know what? So everyone Passwords. that listens, we want donations for <laughs> subscriptions. Because I'm tired of paying for HBO Max myself. <laughs> so whoever's Don't out, you have AT? Oh, that's right. You got, the, you got fucked over. I got fucking deal. shafted yeah. by the old AT&T. So yeah. if there's anyone out there, uh, just I'll send you foot pics for an HBO Max subscription. Or send blankets for those. my guy over here. Catch, he needs a new blanket. Yes. I want to catch the third season of Barry really bad. Oh, so. dude, it's so good. Ugh. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I'll watch the first episode again with you. Oh, mm -hmm. While we have dinner? While we have dinner, possibly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I have time to eat. I'll All right. Eat and then dip out. Yeah. I could oh. eat. I could eat. I could eat. Yeah, whatever. Uh, written by Sean Anders and John Morris. They've together wrote... wrote Wrote together, written together, Sex Drive, That's My Boy, oh, okay. Daddy's Home 1 and 2, and Hot Tub Time Machine. Uh, Chernobyl. Uh, it makes sense. The old Chernobyl. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, makes it's sense. in the same kind of... So that's what I was... I mentioned yeah. Sex Drive earlier. I was talking about S Steve and his choices, and this is like one of Steve's ch choices, right? This is like if you had to paint Steve with the movies he likes to watch... This kind right. of genre would right. take up a lot, and I don't even know why. I think it's just I like it's dumb feel comedy, feel good movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah also, but sex drive. Cringy. That's what I was, men I was yeah. mentioning. Sex drive. That's right. on my list of movies to do. This one has some cringy shit in it. This is, oh, oh my oh god! My god, I, it's god fucking, dude. When do you get to these scene? This this the, the scene embarrassing. Part no, well, the family embarrassing and him 
all the time gets me. The yeah. most I don't think it's cringy. I don't think it's cringy. It's though. like self cringe. There's a name for it when you feel. I get heebie jeebies when I see shit like this. But that plane scene where he's like, he's like telling everyone like "fuck you, fuck you," yeah. and he walks out and he's she's like, "you, you have get, to sit down." Right. And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> that was oh, funny." God. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually sits down, and the dude next to him's like, "Good job, buddy." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cringy. That feels cringy to me. Like, that feels well, horribly cringy. But that's done on purpose. You know, oh, like, yeah, there's yeah. not... There's the movie's not cringy. Okay. It's... it's well, the, the, the scene and the feeling of it is kind of... The scene and how it was written. Yeah, it feels cringy. It feels cringy. It's a good scene. It just makes me... Right, but it was written to be cringy. <laughs> where, like, the, yeah, yeah. the the stuff where they're... The family's, like, making fun of them, kind of... That's not cringy. I will say what's cringy... Again, on purpose is like in the beginning when he gives uh, his ex girlfriend like the the gift or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, same, it's, it's the same train? thing. It's, for <laughs> it's, it's yeah. the same thing to me. Oh, that's the same. But it is done on purpose to make you kind of yeah. feel sorry for him oh, in, yeah. in a sense, and like just goddamn, like you you think that uh, what's her face from that '70s show is her mom, and then he has to say like mom, like come on, and you're like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, uh-huh. like, that's fucked up. This movie sticks it to this fucking guy. Over and over, too, in the beginning. It really like, does, I'm yeah. like, oh, give this fucking dude a break. <laughs> Even when, when she, uh, his ex-girlfriend comes back to him, like, at the one part when she's just like, hey, I'm willing to, you know, think about getting back together with you. Oh, and then she's like, I'm also willing to possibly think about leaving yeah. what's his face too <laughs> i'm like oh, oh my dude. god the fuck, even the other guy's like really <laughs> i wasn't here for goon right i missed it yeah. but that his that girl that he was interested in that also was like really cringy allison pill and yeah, the one she's like i sleep around or well, yeah. so i was like yeah. make me want to stop sleeping with other men right i was like okay yeah. oh, fucking god damn it but, also can't picture but, sean william scott as anyone else yeah she does say <laughs> that she's a terrible person she does. In Goon, you know what I mean? She's not like saying, oh, oops, it's not I like sleep you're around. Dis- it's not like you feel like you're discovering. Right, she's <laughs> literally telling him, like, yo, I'm a shitty fucking person. Yeah. Don't get with me. And you know what? Maybe she isn't a shitty person now because she's with Doug the Thug Glad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Meh. This movie was directed by Jim Field Smith. His only other directing credit man's name. is the movie Butter, which came out the year after... Um, I watched that movie that? and I completely kind of forget about it. I, I know have no Olivia. Idea what that is. So uh, 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 Olivia, um, her real name's Cockburn. Olivia Wilde is in that movie. Oh, um, I love Olivia Wilde. Yeah, talk about that jawline. Very thick. Oh, yes. Very thick. very wide. I um, but I just remember she was like that's why I love prostitute the Tron movie so in that movie or something. Oh, really? I might and have to like, watch this. Then. But it's not in the way you think it is. There's like some contest where they're trying to make like a sculpture out of butter, and it's like. I don't know, like a political movie. <laughs> oh, it's it's so it's yeah, it's a little weird. No, she's she's definitely probably top five for me. It's called Butter. Mm-hmm. Olivia Watson. Randall's like I'm in. I like her, uh, her prostitutes in the, and butter. Recently, count me in. Fell sure. in love with the the what is her Angela the Adario the Baywatch the new Baywatch girl. Oh, uh, Daddario. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Daddario. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, she's pretty girl too. She's got them striking eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She hasn't really been in much <laughs> she hasn't since been. then, besides some like Oof. off-brand. She was in a movie. She, she was in a big blockbuster with D- Dwayne De Rock Johnson as his daughter. Yeah, but that the, was still a while. That was like with San that might Andreas. Have been before, I, think. I think it was around that or before. But again, she did like that and Baywatch and all this other stuff, and then she just kind of like off. she was in a Texas Chainsaw. She's also movie. all over my. My Instagram and TikTok. Well, <laughs> that's probably my doing. <laughs> probably the the algorithm. The algorithm's <laughs> got you. All right, so this is starring Jay Baruchel as Kirk, Alice Eve as Molly, T.J. Miller, who's been canceled, is Stainer. Dead. How did he get canceled? I didn't know that. I'm what pretty sure he was like DMing like little girls or something. Oh Jesus! Or like, and then like saying God some racist shit. It. Yeah, Jesus. I like him. Well, that's why he wasn't in the second Deadpool movie. Oh, uh-huh, so that was the era? Yeah. Where he fucking got the boot, he got the shaft? Yeah, because I think he, like, helped write the first Deadpool movie. He's, like, he's like the comic relief right. in every movie that he's in. Your face looks like a nutsack. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a geographical <laughs> map of Utah. <laughs> yeah. Topographical map of Utah. <laughs> we also got Mike Vogel as Jack, Nate Torrance as Devin, which I guess that's a black name, Lindsay Sloan as Marnie. Uh, she uh, always, yeah. Go, sorry, so you're go, going over his. I don't mean to keep it up, but the, the guy the you'd be able to answer this. The friends, yeah. so the guy that's like that, that's uh, the good-looking friend. Mm-hmm. He was in that grind. Movie. 
Thank you. How did you know I was t- fucking talking about that? You're my best friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We ha- we should do that fucking movie. Uh, what a great I movie for someone movie. who's a skateboarder to pick. That would be a great movie. Walter. Maybe I'll f- fucking pick Maybe. That, one. that guy was also taking it back to Texas Chainsaw was in the original remake of Texas Chainsaw with Jessica Biel. Oh, shit. He gets cut in half. Old Jessica Biel. With the chainsaw. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lindsay great. Sloan plays Marnie, the ex-girlfriend. She always looked... Super like I know this girl. Where the fuck is she from? And I yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. put my finger on it till today. Sabrina, the teenage witch, the TV oh, show. Shit. Oh yeah. Oh shit. You look like so- I think Randall would be someone that watched Sabrina, the oh, teenage yeah. witch. I yeah. watched yeah. it right now. <laughs> it's on <laughs> Disney Plus. I am not making fun of you. I know. I'm <laughs> you just saying. Just you right were now. the demographic. No. Yeah. I just even know. the new one that's on Netflix. I watched that one. My yeah. wife watches. She said it was okay. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, said like bad. the the ending right. wasn't good. Yeah, but yeah, I love profiling weird. people. It's like my, one of my favorite things to do. And you look like a Sabrina the Teenage Witch <laughs> watcher. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> we also got Kristen Ritter as Patty, who I think is great in her role. I've uh, did you watch? Um, is that the? Is that the friend or the mom? The friend. The friend. Okay. Did you watch Jessica Jones the Marvel show? No, yes. I wish I did. That's one she of the few was, things I've it's missed. It's on Disney. You can okay. watch it now. Um, it was good, but I just think she was miscast in the role. And there's been other things that she's been in, like Breaking Bad or... I miss the early TV uh, shows, actually. A lot of the Marvel early TV shows. Daredevil, definitely watch. I did a couple episodes. Jessica Jones, definitely watch. Iron Fist and... Um, uh, the, the Luke what about Cage? Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Luke Carter? Agent Carter wasn't. It was ABC show, uh, but <laughs> definitely watch it. It's really good. I didn't. Uh, you didn't like Luke Cage or uh, she's Iron my, Fist? She's, uh, Iron Fist? Iron she's Fist my third one, by the way. Like what's her, what's her Penny, name? Penny Carter oh. or uh, Penny Carter? Oh. Peggy Carter. Yeah, she's, she's she's she's. I think Iron Fist too. is my favorite one. Oh, that that was like the worst panned Marvel show, actually. Really? Yeah, it's like the lowest rated Marvel oh, whatever show on. Not not to say that it really matters. I'm just yeah yeah yeah. And then we also got Deborah Jo Rupp as Miss Kettner. Uh, the reason why I bring that up is because she is that mom to me because she oh, was that 70s show, show Kitty. and yeah. Kitty on that. And she just kind of plays the same character in this, but it works. That voice is it for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like. <laughs> whatever yeah, that laugh I feel like that's where they got like family guy. Like What's her? Fa- I feel like there's a lot of image moms okay. made after her from that 70s that show. Me? Okay. I get you. Like the way he does. The high, yeah. <laughs> whatever that voice is. Peter. Yeah. Yeah. This movie's rated R. And it doesn't seem like it would be. I mean, I get that they're swearing and they're talking about a lot of sexual stuff, but it's rated R for language and and sexual conduct. Yeah, but (laughs) it doesn't show anything but a stain. You know, like, it's not like... I get what they're talking about. There's sexual themes, this and that, but it it felt like a close PG-13 movie to me. Show me a nipple or something, you know, if you want to get R. (laughs) I wonder if there's, like, specific, like, directors and people that are, like, kind of blacklisted or, like producing agencies and they get to like where they show and they have to get their rating from these people mm-hmm. i wonder if they, sh- they get shafted oh like i always wondered if that's a thing like uh this guy yeah it's always r yeah it doesn't matter what you do it's an r or like oh this guy was a douche last time right bump him up one you right. know give him the <laughs> nc17 what no one's gonna see it fuck him ma <laughs> what the fuck the fuck is this, this, this is, is avatar TPMA. <laughs> that's funny but no like i said i the, it was super close to PG-13 to me. Like I always thought it was PG-13, and then like. they came out with an unrated version, but I don't think they ever did. And uh, there's nothing too raunchy to me. No. Besides, okay, yeah, they're shaving his fucking dick, but maybe show a ball. And then it's funny, but they didn't. Speaking of, speaking of there's been a lot of dicks on Netflix recently. with mo- Like, they've opened up. Oh, I yeah. was watching, so... This is where my, my theory... So I was watching Forgetting Sarah Marshall the other night. Well, mm. but that came out the same genre time this did. It did, but, but it was his, censored on streaming platforms for a while because I uh, love that movie. I've watched it for a while. So, so the unrated... never saw yeah, his dick. The unrated version always had his dick out. A couple nights yeah. ago, I was I was watching it. Okay, and then sure enough... for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, sure enough. I can't do it. I'm smiling. You see his, you see his ding dang like three or four times. Yeah, like three or four <laughs> times. Getting, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and it's one of those like... You're doing this, all right? And it's one of those... Good for you. It's a, the jackass, jackass did it too. Oh my god! Well, the newest one. But you expect for some of it, you know. Well, the, I mean, jackass, jackass yeah. was like the whole fucking movie. Yeah, there was. It was yeah, a yeah. fucking. There's the newest probably one more was, dick time than any other yeah. movie. The movie the newest one was too much dick for me. <laughs> That's what she said. And <laughs> <laughs> quote me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, honestly, I feel retarded because that first dick scene with him, all his penis, all painted up like I, a. 
You didn't know it at first. At nope. first, it's nope. one of those things where you're looking at it for a, a moment. Yeah, you're, you're like, like oh, is that Godzilla? Oh. It's a dick. <laughs> yeah. That's Pontius. So I knew it was a penis. dick, but I didn't think it was one of theirs. I thought they just made oh, like a Godzilla look like a dick. They love jackass. And they because it looked miniature, right? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, it's miniature because that's it, a real it dick. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was cool. The movie was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways. I watched it again. <sighs> I did too. It's it's funny, but it's I wouldn't watch it ever again. I love the, the first one too. I would watch, but this one I wouldn't. I love how they they come out with it and they do the point whatever. So it's like, yeah, I need to watch five, point five, or, yeah, yeah, four, yeah, four point five. Yeah, I just watched all of these again recently. Yeah, again, I feel like the first two have re- repeat repeatability. Watch rewatchability. Oh, I can repeatability. Watch all of them. I just don't think the new one had it, just because I don't care for the new people in it, and they didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't oh, I, know I like them, the, and like they didn't the, do m- too much with them for me to care. I like the poopy guy. What is his name? Poopy. Is it poopy? Is it poopy? Is it poopy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like when he hit, or is it hit poop, the ladder. Poopies. But it might be poopies. But he hits the ladder with the... I love the simplicity of him. Okay. He's just... He doesn't care. Yeah. A lot of those guys get scared. He was standing on a ladder with a sledgehammer, and he just hits the ladder out from yeah. underneath his feet. Yeah. And I was like, this is as basic and as funny as it fucking gets. I was like, I like this guy. I'm him in. and uh, Dave England put their dicks in that, like, plexiglass and <laughs> screw it and it's like yeah. paper thin yeah, it was and it's funny because like oh he, he was the only guy that still was like yeah i'll do it too yeah, and, yeah <laughs> like ow what the fuck part of me is like i want to try it <laughs> the other part of me is like no no I'm, you just I'm fucking good. never mind you want to see it but you're good i'm gonna revisit my ball bag <laughs> my ball bag anyways we had a long talk before this about ball bags but okay, i digress I this movie's uh length a little long Yes. 104 minutes. It did feel a little long. Did, but it was the ending. I think all these move these this genre of movie a lot of them can feel if it like if it goes past like that, that yeah. hour half mark feels long. So you mm-hmm. brought up forgetting Sarah Marshall and that movie is definitely long too. Yeah. But there's an overarching story there that I feel like if they fast tracked it wouldn't really be as emotionally like like oh good he's yeah, get yeah, with yeah. her at the end, you know what I mean? They also do it, that movie. They jump into every character pretty well I for agree. the most part. I agree. So yeah, like the, the this movie is it's really locked into two people for the most part. Mainly one. Well, so. I mean, his friend group is there. They're uh, they're there a lot, but they don't tell a lot of you know. It's you not, don't learn don't, about them exactly. Besides like, Stainer, you yeah. learn about him. Yeah. So forgetting Sarah Marshall, I'm a big fan of when movies sit down and they show you these these characters, mm-hmm. like not in depth, but they definitely give you more to work with than what. What this movie did, which it, I mean, it's not a bad movie, like I said. No, I, well, I mean, again, the movie's about Jay Baruchel, yeah. basically, right? And, and him overcoming whatever issues that I feel like his best friend literally made him have. Yeah. They're in the bowling alley, and he's saying, "Like you're a five, dude. You can't, you can't go up two points." Like, <laughs> if, I don't think if they had that conversation, he would have been as worried. And in the moment of when he's just like, you know, that's it, web feet, and then he busts <laughs> into that role. Yeah. I don't think they would have had the issue is if he didn't have that, you know, conversation with him. But that's I what feel, the movie's about. I, yeah, too. I believe mo- that is very important in male growth. To know you're a five. To just have <laughs> friends that oh, fucking, fucking rag on you yeah, all yeah, yeah. the time. Because then you just know, you know. <laughs> you just know. There's no surprises later on. Exactly. You're not being like, well, I thought I was special. <laughs> no, if you, you, if you didn't have the conversation. What do you mean, little dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you didn't have the conversation at the bowling alley, it wouldn't have been an argument at all because the entire argument he had with her is it, or is just everything right. that he was told. Well, that's that's what I'm getting at, yeah. right? Like, he even says, like, I'm a five, you're a ten. Yeah. Like, there's no, we just, should like, not be together. Everything, the, and the fucking, right. the towel, whatever the it was. The worst railing that he took from anybody was her at that moment, too, where she was deducting points yeah. Yeah. from him. And I was like, oh, my God. But... It's so. I think that's it very. Real. It's very well done and real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like she's cutting him down in a They're cutting each other down, kind of. Right, but he, well, she only does it because he does. She he does it to her, right? Like yeah, yeah. if you think about it, through the whole movie, she's like super nice to yeah. everybody. Yeah. You know, like when his brother's being shitty, you know, he's oh thank you, you know, like and all this stuff, and it's like okay, even when his dad is shaking her hand and she's like asking where the bathroom is, he's not letting go. She's still smiling, like okay, you know, you know, like yeah, yeah. and I get it, like people that are attractive and get all that attention kind of get used to it and have to be nice in ways to not piss people off but i wish i got for each stuff i know right but i got this stupid blanket on. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it off at any time it's so comfortable 
I mean, we want it's you to couch. be comfortable I'm here. I'm fucking locked in right uh, now. On the this isn't real. <laughs> Speaking of being comfortable, you can be very comfortable uh, wearing our shirts. Is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that was a stretch, is. but that's fine. Hey, whatever. He They're made of nice. And fucking 100% cotton. Right 100% <laughs> cotton. Uh, you can find our merch on www.thedecisionreal.com. We have a plethora of shirts that I'm sure no I, one will buy. If you do the Metal Gear one, I'll buy it. I, it's on. It's up there. Oh, I didn't know it was up there. It's no, up it's there. Not. I just haven't put it up there. <laughs> Randall's you like, want to no, bet? It's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it's up there. <laughs> Again, it's just not on the graphic here because I want people to see we have more options than what's. Do you shown. remember that Metal Gear Solid shirt you bought me uh, with yeah, yeah, Ninja yeah, on it? Yeah, I still yeah. have it. You can't see it at all. You can't see the fucking image at all because you've worn it so many fucking times. All right. It's great. It that must great. have been a great present if you worn it. Oh, that many fuck times. yeah. My titties look great in it. <laughs> His titties <laughs> look great. Door. This was released on March 10th, 2010. It's that late? Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was earlier than that. What are you looking at, Randall? What was that? Uh. I'm trying to get to the store, but it won't open. Why not? It's your it's your phone. iPhones. Terrible. Weefy. Terrible. Do Anyways, you, yeah. You have an Android? Android. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do. I've always yeah, had. Of course, yeah. Look at, look at me over here. But yes, no. March 10th, 2010. I ag- agree with you that I thought it was earlier maybe like 2008 ish you know something mm-hmm. like that I was even maybe like 2000 and i thought it was more of when we were in school still almost like towards but i guess i'm wrong obviously <laughs> you know, this thinking, makes sense of why nobody's buying a shirt why because it's not you working open it. <laughs> yeah cross your arms again <laughs> like you're upset <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i wanted to see the shirts oh maybe maybe the website's down because it's not working for me either good job Randy. our website you're works welcome. but i'm thinking maybe the store in which yep. our stuff is on is not yep. working so i'm going to go to spring problem solving well problem, so anyways so this morning i woke up right i had a tick on my balls are we going to the story i am steve's looking at stuff so cool i had a tick on my nuts pulled it off uh approximately a week maybe maybe 10 days ago i didn't get i didn't get the ticks head so <laughs> i had a bug bite on my nuts <laughs> Bug bite in the mill sack. <laughs> and two days into it, my my balls got itchy and I went to bed, right? And I woke up and I think I had scratched my nuts vigorously. <laughs> vigorously. As I was sleeping and I did too good of a job. We'll say that. So my balls were healing. <laughs> you scratched your balls too good. <laughs> so they were healing and they've been healing for a couple days now. They're they're good. They're solid. But they're solid. I had a couple of scratch scabs on my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and I got in the shower this morning, and anyone that's ever had a healing scab get a little wet and then get fabric stuck to it. Yep. I I had sat down, driven an hour to work, and then stood up and ripped my scabs off my nuts. Mm. I'm sorry, Steve. I had, I didn't know what else to talk about. But <laughs> no, you good. Worst. Keep going. <laughs> I would tell you right now. I got to work this morning, and it was the most surprise feeling. To possibly have, I didn't, I hadn't drank in my coffee yet. I was exhausted, but I stood up out of my car and then that happened. I and that woke you up. You didn't I, need anymore. I don't scream. <laughs> I was probably two inches away from screaming like a little girl. It was fucking horrific. And then I had to sit there all day just making sure that they had a little air tome. So that way it didn't happen a second time while I was at a work. fan going up your leg. Yeah, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Imagine. All from a little tick. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, just a little fucking, a little fucking bug. Little baby tick. Yeah, and it was from Nora too. So did you get the head? Yeah, did you get the head out of your ball sack? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. eventually. Yeah, thanks, for, thanks for. Eventually, I'm pretty sure it happened. I don't know when. It just fell out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done with but this. But Kristen dropped off Nora one night, and Nora jumped in my my bed that morning before I had to go to to work. So she had a tick on her. So we're blaming her. Oh, 100. percent Okay, cool. And so I get up, I go to take a shower, tick on my balls. I hadn't been outside in like. In my grass in like two days. So, Nor- so yeah, it couldn't have just... It's fucking yeah. Nora's fault. Right. Game. Fucking dog. So <laughs> what do we learn? <laughs> Don't. Scratch sleep. your balls. With dogs? How do you not do that? I didn't even... I wasn't even conscious when I was... When, I it, when it went I, down. Like, I fucking... I told you really, when I, it went I down. It too. Yeah, yeah. I was sleeping, and I'm pretty sure I scratched my balls yeah. vigorously in my Do sleep. you think... Okay, let's be real here. So if that tick was on your dog and it got off into your bed whatnot why did it gravitate to your testicles and i wear sweats when i sleep so sure so it had to get in there exactly, exactly. why didn't like and attach your legs they go for the warm like the warmest spot i believe the warmest that's... spot would be his anus <laughs> i've never had a tick on my didn't go there. I, i've never had a tick on my butt 
That's good. I've had a tick on my actually I've had a tick on my balls before this. Before so this, this nothing new so to you. what this we're trying to get times. to, his balls are just radiating. I, s- I sleep warm. To be I there. sleep very warm. <laughs> I don't sleep with blankets most of the time. So that, that tick was just like I was except for today. Free game. You wear a blanket. You are. Yeah, the he's blanket. in. The, he's in the blanket. It's because Steve's office is second floor, and Steve had the air blasting, no, which I'm is probably normal that. temperature upstairs, right? Well, no, it's always cold as shit down here. Yeah, yeah, down here. I walked in this this basement, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> I was just talking about the. The fucking Sasquatch. Yeah, even stuff you got even going on. sleeveless in Seattle over here is crossing <laughs> his arms because it's so fucking cold. <laughs> is it that cold down here? I told you, I was. Going, I'm fine. I got a blanket. <laughs> I, was I got going this nice blanket. Douchebag look today. I was, you know, I'm feeling <laughs> yeah, well, it's fine. Like Douchebags are cold out. in Steve's basement. We've been so. working out. And I'm feeling a little better about myself. Good. Feeling a little better. Yeah, I'm glad. All right, I'm glad. All right. Well, I've been working out too. But That's why I said we. Put my ball back. <laughs> I was gonna say you're not working out these nuts anymore because you got you're injured. Yeah. Anyways. Back to She's Out of My League. It was filmed in March of 2008 in Pennsylvania. So it took two years. Oh, shit. Until this was released. Why? These movies are a lot shorter than that, usually. Right? Yeah, like for sure. year top. So this actually, this, uh, I didn't put it in the, the fun facts, but this script was floating around for a while, and it was like in the top five like scripts that needed to get made in 2006 that like was given awards and stuff and was oh. feverishly like wanting people to make it. But nobody would make it. This title feels like it sells itself. Pretty really well does, too, you know. And, and it's funny though. Like, I know they don't really say it, but I felt like this movie could have been called something else as well. Like talking about the numbers and stuff like that. Like girl next door. Like any well, no, of those no, no, no. When, when he's saying like the, you know they're rating them, right? They could have been uh, something along those lines. Not she's, she's a, out of my she's league, a 10. right? He, he could be like <laughs> we're playing baseball and you're in, you know. Junior A or something Slap like that would make sense. Slapshot Regatta is what it should have been called. <laughs> Slapshot Regatta. You could do something for me. <laughs> I don't, I don't Slapshot Regatta. <laughs> Go downstairs to your brother. <laughs> Go play with your brother. <laughs> I do want to say it was very realistic of her to stay in the kitchen with her mom. And like, I don't know. It, it just felt super real feels like and how down we to raised. earth. That's what I'm saying, but it just yeah. feels like a super real and down to earth movie where, like I said, pedestrian. Nothing happens that doesn't feel not real. I would feel weird if I was dating someone and that situation was happening, and sh- my, the girl I was dating didn't do that. I think okay, I'd be I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out if, if, she it, wasn't if it was trying to help out, like sure, sure, sure. If know? it was the first time she was ever there and she didn't, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. But the more you go, yeah. I believe like, it's a green not, flag not if to she say, offers. Yeah, you know? but not She's to like, say that women should be in the kitchen doing that. No, just cleaning up. Is but what but helping out yeah. in general when things need to be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But also get in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so no black people in this movie. And women need to and be in the oppressing kitchen. Women. <laughs> women. Oppressing women. Oppressing women. This Look, I love I, I love women. Wasn't that her first time there? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was yeah, get in the kitchen. No, yeah. you need to know where you need to be. Another one of the most cringy moments for me it was I think it was that scene where they were at the dinner table and like she, her dad they're like asking why she's with him. Yeah, and her dad's like, "No, really," and she's like, "Doesn't uh, know." Yeah, and she's going through it. I'm like, "Come on, give this fucking guy a break." Well, you know, I I like I that. Get it? No, but no, it's, I, it's fucking cringy to me. Like, I can't be around people like that. Is what okay, I'm I get. Yeah, the question's cringy, but I like her answer because she's like, "What?" Well, it's real. <laughs> and then she, I, this is why I actually like him. And you can tell she's going through the thought process, and that's a credit to her acting ability too. It feels like she's really sitting there going, "She's thinking." Yeah, about these it. are the reasons why I'm with him. But her very initial reaction was, "She doesn't know." I don't know. Right. Yeah. That was the first thing she said, and I'm like, "I don't know." I don't know. Fuck. Yeah. But <laughs> that's that's a realistic thing. You know what I mean? Like, why why are we best friends? I am the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can honestly tell. Pay, go to your... Yeah. Well, that's yeah, a lie. <laughs> I don't well, know. My mother wouldn't say I'm so. like, I'm like... <laughs> look, look at this guy. He's... Are you a caveman? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Is that Sasquatch? I still have a headache. <laughs> that motion didn't help at all. Oh, yeah. Not at all. Budget. What do we think this movie costs to make? I can't go to the person who picked it first because. Hold on. Where's Where's the? Oh, I, I moved the camera. Never mind. I was gonna say they're not here. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Randy first. Fuck me. Why me first? Because you cheat. I did it bad last time. Because you cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you cheat, Doctor Jones. <laughs> Snorting. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. 22. Oh, Dr. Jones. 27. That's what I was going to pick anyway. Oh. I already had a pick. I thought these already picked. Me so remember when I said an hour ago Randall cheats? Oh, did you really just guess the exact amount? Did, did he I? guess the exact amount? 20 million. Fuck yeah. Oh. But, but. Nice. You went over. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's how we should do this from now on if you go over. So that way well, I don't but, feel as bad. But so there has to be some kind of repercussion. Do we have like shots lined up and you have to do a shot if you get it wrong or if you go over? What you have to do is we have to find a tick in some grass. Nope. And you fucking <laughs> ball bagging. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> we're eat, you got to you got to spread them. You got to put your nuts out on the table. And we got we're going to with some forceps just put it right up in there until it locks them in. On. We're locking them on. <laughs> Our luck would be like, no. This is my no. last podcast. And his the um, tick's name's going to be Jerry. Balls Did you know you're supposed to shake? <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to shake them. Oh, fuck. And then they go, ha ha, joke's on you. Because on the bottom, yeah, it says it. Box office. What do we think this movie made in theaters for its overall run? Again, I can only go to Randy first. I'm going to go. Oh, no. Wally's oh, first. Sorry. First. Nope. Go ahead, buddy. You I'm going to go uh, 30 mil. 30 million. I think this dollars. was a fucking bust. We're going to go to Randall. 27. 27. Are you shaking it? He's sh- he's d- let him do him. Shake yep. that beer. He's doing whatever I, I he wants. I took the... I shake that beer. Look, look, look. Science. Is it a beer? It would be a... It's a cocktail, I believe. Yeah, it would be a cocktail because it's... it's um, Hey, guys, is this suggestive? On the <laughs> <laughs> that looks even better. Oh, you can hear it too. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sounds fuck, I dirty. I just opened it. I didn't shake it. Let's see this taste. Opening right weekend numbers, $9.7 million. Oh, the lemon sits at the bottom. A hundred percent. Sorry, go ahead. Say it again, Steve. Science. <laughs> Science. <laughs> opening weekend numbers. It made nine point seven million dollars in its opening weekend. Overall mm-hmm. box office, forty nine point eight million. Me. No, nice. I should have guessed thirty. A lot more than I actually thought it would make. Yeah, I didn't think it made. I was thinking. See, 20. I get them wrong all the time, and you still think I cheat. I don't get it. Remember, I think you're mem- strategically getting them wrong now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm just fucking, I'm gonna start fucking googling it. And just <laughs> 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 he just rattles on the dot every time from here on out. <laughs> you know Easy. If you're gonna think I'm cheating, I'm gonna do me. it anyways. <laughs> Looking at his hand. That's like the worst mentality any human being could have. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat because oh, you're is. saying I cheat. I told you right. Is it, the yeah. lemon is it is more at the bottom? Yeah. The lemon is, is it, at the, is it more tart? Yeah, yeah, 100. percent I think the lemon is at the bottom. Now I feel bad because I didn't, I didn't, shake it up. Shake it. We should do real science. Shake it before you bake it. Shake it up. <laughs> no. Box office that week. Top 10. 2010. March 10th, 2010. 2010. 10, 10, 10s. Oh, shit. Ooh. Well, 3, 10, 10, 10. Well, I was about to say. <laughs> Top March 10. is a little different than me. Whatever. Number 10. <laughs> the Crazies. Oh, one of that, that movie is weird. That was uh, Right. That would be Wally's dating life. Oh, shots fired! Not mad at all. That's uh, that's the one where stop making my they life start hard. off in the um, please the Everyone. baseball game, and the guy is walking down yeah, the yeah. thing with the pitchfork. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Actually, not a terrible movie. Um, and nobody talks about it anymore. Yeah. Hmm. I hope she listens to this, and she's like, <laughs> she's like, oh god, I can't believe I treated him like that after he had a tick stuck to his balls for all. Of it. <laughs> Nobody cares about the tick on your pulse. It was horrible. <laughs> I care, Wally. It was fucking I, I, I terrible. Hope right. I hope it wasn't a traumatic You guys experience. think this is funny. It was, it's funny. But it was fucking terrifying. As you're pulling it and it's going with your... I had yeah. no idea it was about to happen. I didn't know it was even in the fucking... <sighs> the cards. I'm sure your your face <laughs> was like... Ah! Yeah, I, yeah. It was more like... So, I like, man, all the time. I try man. to be. But oh, I man. was like... <laughs> Crying. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Immediately <laughs> dropped my cack off at my desk and went to the bathroom. Okay. I went bop bop. Oh, you did off. this at work? I was pulling into work and I oh. literally fucking ripped my sack and then walked in the <laughs> building, bow legged, dropped my shit at my desk. Immediately go to the bathroom just to get a fucking close inspection on my fucking coin purse <laughs> to make sure I wasn't dying. Was there a was there was it bloody? Yeah, yeah, this is no joke. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> you guys think this was fucking horrendous. I, I am not fucking around. I literally this after that, no joke. I like kind of fluffed out my, my briefs a little is bit. Is that why you're sitting 
just for to yeah the, to the left. Yeah, yeah. So you're off the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally just space. Just for him to breathe. Just for those scabs to fucking seed. To heal so up. So I don't have to fuck. This is not happening again. Tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to fucking put a hairnet on my ball bag when I take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> for life's Saran tips. Saran wrapping a fucking. Come, come to us here. At Saran wrapping a rubber band. Oh, that sounds terrible. Uh, really does. Number nine, cop uh, out. Oh, isn't that with the, the black guy and... Uh, that's with Bruce Willis Damn. and Tracy Morgan, yeah, Tracy directed Morgan. by Kevin yeah. Smith. Oh, Kevin Smith directed that? And he said, I wish I didn't. Oh, really? Yep. Parts of that were hilarious, but it wasn't a good movie. It was not. Number eight, Brooklyn's Finest. <laughs> oh, this is like a weird era of movies for me. Like, I'm like, haven't thought about these in forever, any of them. Cop Out was on Netflix Ooh. forever, though, I believe. I do remember it being on there, yes. Now... Getting into the here and now. From December 18th, this is March 10th, 2010, so in the top mm, 10, few months before. number 7, mm. Avatar. Mm. Oh. Mm. So Avatar came out months before that? December 18th. So that's... Good old Cam. Pretty, well, almost four months. Well, Maybe. it'd be three months, actually. No, you're right. So it was 2009. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Avatar is coming out in theaters this December, I believe, right? The newest but, one, which yeah. is, I don't think it's going to do even close to nope. as good. And they've already got three more in the can, apparently. Well, and when you make that much money and you're, it's a Disney movie still, right? It has to be. I don't, I don't There's even know. How much money did it Disney. make? So It'll the first a- one made a lot only because 3D was a big deal back then. And that was the only movie that actually made 3D look Every other good. 3D movie flopped. Yeah. And where's 3D been since? Nowhere. Exactly. So... That movie, people went and saw it. Was it was there for a little while, past few years. Like, yeah, two yeah, years yeah. ago, it was around for a little bit. You can still see movies in the theater in 3D, but yeah, they're, it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. But So that movie was basically, I think, half of its box office, which it did make over a billion dollars, was because people went, you need to see this, not for the movie, for the experience. Like the Matrix right. kind of thing? Right. Like, the yeah. special effects were so good at the time, and it looks so great in 3D that you need to fucking go see this and experience it. What other so, movies are on that list, do you think? Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park number one, Terminator 2 for oh, sure. Yeah. The oh, Matrix. Yeah. Mm. What are some early, early ones, you think? I don't know anything. That's past my age group. Are, are we saying special effects wise or just you need to see this movie because it transcends it's, uh, cinema it's 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 going we're pushing this envelope to the next phase movie because that's what those movies you just named did saving private ryan oh the production value of that Is just that the fact saying? that it was so visceral and real that like people who were in the world wars that yeah. could still see it they, they had that. to walk out i can see that or that they started a fucking phenomenal movie. yeah I've never seen a Schwarzenegger movie. I think we you talked I- about that, and I'm I'm very mad at him. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, that's why I was my my never. like. Really? You know, what movie we watched recently that I thought was going to do that was that 1917? Yeah, seventeen because it was supposed to be like a continuous shot and shit. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, that sounds fucking revolutionary. Let's go watch that. It was great. I loved it, but it wasn't like it wasn't a genre defining. Yeah, you need yeah. to see this because it's one shot. But that's predominantly why I went. Yeah. So yeah, I get yeah. it. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of any other movie that like literally changed either the way filmmaking was done or the way we looked at cinema to like, oh, we can do that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the way it's, it's got to be big ass movies, right? Star Wars well, not, wasn't not, not, one, so not necessarily. But Star Wars cinematic well, that was because of it was like. Well, no, Star Wars definitely changed right? the game because at the time nobody was really interested in sci-fi. They were interested in cowboys. You know what I mean? Space so cowboys. that. Now space cowboys, <laughs> space ninjas. If you want to think cowboys about it, versus aliens. That movie flopped so hard. I enjoyed it a little bit. Wait, that was a movie. It wasn't a great movie. Yeah, Tommy, it. not Tommy Lee. No, Tommy Lee Jones was in it. No, not Dan- Tommy Lee Jones. Daniel, uh, Daniel Craig. Yeah, and uh, uh, Indiana Jones was in it. Yeah, yeah, Harrison Ford. And wasn't Olivia Wilde in it too? Yes. Yeah, and that movie's terrible. Yeah, yeah, it was terrible. I, I'll, I'll watch a movie for the concept, and the con- the concept behind that was so fucking dope and awesome. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Pacific Rim, right? You don't fucking... Mm. I love Pacific Rim. The first it's one. fucking terrible movie, but I'm there to yeah. watch big robots. Fuck you. <laughs> That's all I yeah, care you're, about. you're not showing up to that movie going, I need to hear this dialogue because it's going to be so good. I like, saw every Rihanna. Transformers movie in theater, I think, right. minus the last one. Rihanna's which not... One was in, which one was Rihanna in? What Battleship. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, terrible. that had a big robot, too. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's certain so these, ones all these were, these were robots... <laughs> 
that were fighting other giant robots against giant creatures uh, that were yeah, coming yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, center yeah, of the yeah, earth yeah. from a different dimension. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. dimension. Remember, remember. Number six, our family wedding. Never heard of it. Nope. Next. Number five, remember me. Nope. What? The what? movie before it was saying remember me. <laughs> yeah. Number four, one of my personal favorite DiCaprio movies. Performances, movies, whatever. Inception. Shutter Island. Damn. Ooh, that was good too. That one's a mind fuck. So many good movies by that man. Mm -hmm. There's so, and there's a million of them. Like if you look, catch like, me if you can. Ca yeah, the depart, the movie. departed, departed yeah. the acting mm -hmm. he did in that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that survival one he did with the bears and shit? What was that one? Start with an R. Was it an R? Revenant. 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 The Revenant. The one he finally won something for. Inception. Mm -hmm. The score mm -hmm. for Inception. Mm -hmm. You know what's mm -hmm. funny is like, even though Inception's a great movie and he's in it, he's not like the best part of that movie. There's the also notable the roles, the right? So his Django Unchained, Jan mm -hmm. uh, Django, Django, Unchained. Unchained. Django, no, Django Unchained, Django Unchained, is it Unchained? That performance, fucking phenomenal. Yeah, so fucking good. Mm -hmm. The part where he's like, he's got the pipe and he's just like, <sighs> just breathing out of it. Yes, yeah. it's so good. You had my curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. I want to quote yeah. that movie, but I can't because it has too many n words in it. <laughs> A lot. Yeah. Can't do it. Nope. You know what movie didn't have any? This movie because <laughs> yeah. there was no African American. <laughs> there was people none to be it. said. All right, top three in no particular order, and then we'll guess. Sure. She's out of my leagues in it. Green Zone and Alice in Wonderman. Wonder Man. Mm -hmm. Alice in Wonderland. And Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> With That's the name of a porn I was in. Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Man. <laughs> what are we thinking, Randall? <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Alice, she's out of my league in whatever the fucking danger zone was. Yep. That's what I'm going with. We're good. He said mine. Sorry, I he don't. Said I, he said his. I said mine. I don't want to forget it. He, well, he said mine. We, okay, we're playing the whole song. That's what we're doing. He wants bam, to use what he's just bam, worked bam, on. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> it is number one, Alice in Wonderland. Nice. Number two, Green Zone. Fuck. Oh, what the number fuck three, is Green Zone. She's out of my what league. The fuck oh, is Green Zone? Maybe I should look these up. I don't Are they going to win? Can't I think it has something to do with um, green military. Zone? I would imagine Green Zone. Maybe that's the landing zone. The NZ. Maybe. Football. Maybe no, football. I'm pretty sure it's a military movie. Maybe. Stupid. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg's probably else. in it. Hey. Was that where the grass kills everybody? Let's Say how do you mother for me? <laughs> 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 Tomatometer time. What do we think the critics and the audience score is on this movie, which is called She's Out of My League? 6.7, uh, 7.3. Out go. of 100%. Oh. <laughs> 67, 67 I'm go, I'm 73 gonna, I'm going to go 55 for both 55 for both so you're saying it's it's neck and neck an critics and audience which you is think never it's the, the same. case but yeah I'm going to go for it I'm just getting lazy that's what it is this so, is the one I always suck at So I'm going to say this he's not getting lazy he's getting smart this is the closest we've ever had to having the <laughs> same score but it's probably nowhere near what I <laughs> critic score 58 oh. audience 59 damn Wally, hey, you I've cheated, been cheating. You? <laughs> yeah, I pulled Randall. <laughs> I looked it up. Uh, IMDb score. Let's just go ahead and uh, guess that out of ten, same, same so thing. you can do points. Same oh no, I can do six. You can do like six point whatever. Yeah. So what do you? Yep. Six point seven. Yeah, six point seven. Wally, five point five. I'll do five point six since five point six. IMDb score six point four. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Randall. <laughs> yeah, Randall. Randy. Randy. Who is your favorite Randy. character? Stainer. Stainer. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, the bowling alley scene uh, was great, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he throws the bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> fucking other dude's oh, we bowling still got to do favorite scenes, okay? We'll get to I'll that. Yeah, mine. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you Stainer. say it. All right. Well, who's yep, your... That's where I'm going to stop. Okay. Wally. I like the I like uh, his brother. His Which brother's one? the dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, well, the other one wasn't a brother, right? The other was just the dating? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love him. He's just fucking completely stupid, and his eyes are too close together like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You yeah, see it in yeah, that yeah, yeah, now as you said it. His eyes are like like fucking super close, like yeah. the nose doesn't exist. He was so sweaty in that scene. <laughs> like, I think that was the joke, <laughs> so though. Good. That whole they put it, he wasn't he wasn't sweaty, and then they put it in slow motion, and yeah, he's just like, he like fucking spit. red. Just, that yeah, whole slap sweat. shot regatta scene for me I regatta. so good. It's <laughs> so fucking good. Got the wrong shoes on. <laughs> it is funny, and like... His wife or whatever screaming at him. Yeah, like, it's yeah, hilarious. Go, baby. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. And, and even before she comes lose down, to this fucking loser. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, even before uh, they all come down, they start playing. Like he's just like, "Yo, 
your girlfriend or whatever, like we can all agree that my wife is pretty smoking, but she makes her <laughs> look like, like a pig. pig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's so it really funny. is. It is. <laughs> it's so funny. Overly honest, I those people that. are, and it's there's something to be respected, but they're all cocksuckers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, when they're sitting at the table and he's just like, yeah, so, Dad, did you see, hey, were you really serious when you were talking about the no, no panties? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you make this much money and oh, you wear no panties. You really were not wearing no <laughs> Right. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It's always good to have, Fuck. I think, have one friend that's kind of like that. That f- I, have a, I have another friend that's named Steve, and he's, he's a lot like these guys. He's just overly... Honest, and you don't get away with anything. You think Steve's like that? Really? Not this Steve. I know. No, no, no. This man's a sweetheart. This, the, the, really? really? You yeah, know, know really? Yeah, yeah really. Oh, Do 100%. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a sweetheart. I've been around for fucking yeah. years now. Most of the time. Most of the time? Like 90. That's, not what, I, of that's time. not what I hear from people, but hey, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Warms my heart a little. Thank you. I'm Mom. over here with a, in a blanket drinking an Arnie Palmer. Same from these guys, so you're both sweet. On a palm okay, alert. On a palm alert. We also did come downstairs and, and gently try to wake you up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> say, get a fuck up. We went, hey, <laughs> good morning. morning. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Do you want me to open these blinds for you? It's kind of so, dark down here. <laughs> Are you going to sleep longer? I think we pamper you too much. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Whatever, I take care of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my ass. <laughs> Suck my ass. <laughs> when my- things get rough, who's there? I'm fucking there. Fuck I'll help you out of dead nuts. body. Uh, Next time I had tick on my balls, I am calling both. <laughs> 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 so, okay, if we're going to get to that, let's get to that scene. So his friend, who is my favorite character <laughs> in this movie, Devin, yes. does him a solid, right? Mm-hmm. He fucking gets mm-hmm. in there and yeah. shaves this boy's yep. nuts. But he doesn't do it in like a, all right, we're shaving. He's doing it in a super loving, like, you're my child, I'm cutting your hair moment. Yep. And it's it's kind of endearing. <laughs> it's a good friend. <laughs> what friend? <laughs> lift, lift him up for me. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? So you're fucking, you're stranded on an island. Mm-hmm. You find one other chick on this island. You have to have them shave your balls. All they have is a straight razor. Well, no, you have Should've all your made friends. you a hot towel. <laughs> you, have, you have all your friends. All your friends are there. You're picking Who, one. Who's which shaving your balls? friend is precise and gentle enough to save your ball bag? Shave your ball bag. Well, who's on the island razor? with us? Are we All are your friends, all, right? Everyone that I've ever had in my all life or just like everyone I know now? Just all your friends. Just I mean, all your you friends. know my answer. Y- yeah, but it doesn't have to be like... Close, close. Steve. It's, this is a precision thing. Yes. <laughs> Steve exactly. shaved my balls. <laughs> exactly. If I think someone's going to be like God precise and like cater, it's like him. you already said warmed like talent. Like yep. I, he knows what he's doing. I picture there being like a, a, a like slab, like a rock slab. And then a coconut cut in half with some <laughs> sort of artificial shaving cream Steve came up with on his own. Made, made out of but coconut like water. And been working on this for three days. <laughs> and he's like, Eucalyptus. He's, he's been fucking cleaning that fucking razor on some sandstone on that island. Getting it ready for, for you. hours. Nice and sharp. And he just gets in there. There's maybe a baby Nick because he's learning. Because mm-hmm. he's <laughs> learning. <laughs> Doing the old... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't worry fine. about that. Yeah, We're good. My ball sack doesn't look like a fucking origami crane. Get some aloe vera. Yeah. Put it all in there. It'll be I'll all be right. doing some cool, <laughs> some cool designs. He goes and breaks from those aloe plates. <laughs> 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 well, so my keep favorite pup, puppy's fresh, man. You got to. I mean, you got to keep them nice and in the breeze. Come on. Oh God. And that I would tell I, you, I love Randall, but I feel like Randall would be the. I'd the fuck fucking, it up, dude. You'd be missing a ball. I'd be kind of. That's like me too, right? My ADD is a little harsh sometimes. <laughs> It'd be like, oh, we're like, like talking, and I'm like, yink. <laughs> I think I'd get, I'd get oh, it close fuck. enough, but then I'd be like, that's good enough. <laughs> you could <laughs> leave it alone. You have like a goatee on your nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, because I'd be that guy to be like, all right, lift them up. We got to do the back now. It's got to be perfect. If that yeah. happened, I'd like probably shave some sort of facial oriented thing into my balls, like a, a mustard man shoe or something. Yeah. Like Going around the sides. Yeah, I want it to be respected too after that date. She's like, Oh, mm-hmm. how did you do this alone? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you go. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't tell her. It's <laughs> take the credit. <laughs> Make sure it smells like aloe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's a a, coconut and aloe. Get a get a big whiff of that. <laughs> oh, it's no, you, is that eucalyptus? Fucking balls just look like 
American Chopper's dad. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Paul Tuttle Sr. Oh, my God. Yeah, that guy's not doing good. Oh, where are we at? What are we doing here? Sorry. We're talking about our favorite characters. <laughs> and then I started talking about the scene in which he, my favorite character, was giving no, a nice... Got there. A lot of ball talk okay. today. A nice no, ball there. shave. And that's why I brought it up, too. We were talking about yeah, balls yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. And it, it's, it's great, because like I said, he's doing it so, like, just ever so slightly nicely. Like, he's not getting in there and like, all right, we got fucking whatever. He's just like, oh. Do you think there'd be a lot of money involved in, like, a, a place for that? You know how you go to like a barber shop? Well, so okay, so they have. I think you can go to like a dick barber, <laughs> oh. or like a dick sauna or something like that. <laughs> the Not a sauna, phallic like barber. A, I don't know. You know, you go get a back rub or something. Well, that's different. Rub and <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's different. Yeah. But okay, you go so get cleaned up and well, freshened gonna, up. I was know? gonna say women have you know they get get waxed right, so they're they're doing whatever you go to a yes a spa or whatnot, and they put the old wax on everywhere and the old oh, wax. Wax. Not, men can get that done tonic. too. <laughs> you could do that. I said rub no tub. You could, <laughs> you could, <laughs> what is that from? Hall pass. That's what it is. Did you baby your bathroom? Did you stress Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> you, it's like you strub, you stretched your sack and you put it overhead, then you rubbed I'm honey done. all no, over it even, and had a ton of bees say stick what I was it. Say. What the, <laughs> it's a forget exam, Marshall. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. leave anyway, we're listening. What? Sorry. Nope. I'm done. I'm not. I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> I'm glad he interrupted because I don't want to say it anymore. Anyways. Rub and tug. Look, so you can get a rub and tug, <laughs> but first they shave you. you know what I mean? They oh. do that, and then you're they're already down there. I just yeah, call I mean, it, I might right? as well, right? Just call the, it a if I had a if um, I had a hooker service, it'd be the tug and what tug. We call it tug. <laughs> the tug and tug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pug and tug. What? It's just hand jobs on a tug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that would that's a very lucrative business, and I think we should uh, right, we get on that copyright that right now. Pull this bar. So you got like an hour, so you look at tug. <laughs> you got six, seven <laughs> rubbing tugs going. Let's that's do some it. Fucking big dude wearing a beanie <laughs> that looks like he works on like a harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting fish and cleaning fish. <laughs> Don't worry about that, guys. <laughs> oh my god, come here, the boy. Fuck that? I just pulled my contact out. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Just oh, we're good. Floor. We're just doing things. No, it was super dry anyway, so I just oh fucking god. ripped it right out. It was giving me uh, the heebie-jeebies. A little wild in here, but I can still see out of one eye, so it's fine. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Least favorite characters? Do we have people we didn't like? Fucking in Marnie, that Marnie. Where did that go? God, I hate her. Why? Because <laughs> the whole um, it had to be the fucking scene. Is that the ex girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where she was like, "I'm even." We talked about it earlier. Yeah, where yeah I'm. Yeah. Con- I even consider leaving Ron. I would consider. Oh it, yeah. Like, just don't f- get the fuck away. Go somewhere else. Like it's funny, but it's fucked up. But then, even then, she's like, "I'm going to Branson," and then he was like, saying how like he wanted to go, and then she was like, "It could be weird." So. But I really want to go to Branson and like just stare at him. Like, get, it's not even your family. Yeah, if you break it down, like I, I think his his family is shitty to him as well. You know what I mean? Like, why would they still be friends? Even, okay, yeah, you can be friends with somebody's girlfriend, right, and do stuff with them. But the yeah. minute you break up, you need to realize like maybe we shouldn't be hanging out with this person, even though we like them a lot. Uh. Out of respect for our <laughs> child, <laughs> you got to do Tim Allen with that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Randall's, Randall's friends with say. Randall's friends with my ex, blonde. But I, it's wrong, and I'm dealing with it. It's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's wrong for me to feel that way. Hold on, this is I, I've thought about this internally before, and I haven't ever said this because I've had the same thoughts he has because we're best friends and we mm-hmm. share the same brain. Mm-hmm. You knew her before Wally ever got with her, right? No. So, Mm-mm. oh, you didn't. Mm-mm. Well, then you're in the wrong. I I like on. having friends. Hold on. My, I have no problem with it. My problem lies in my trust with her, right? So I, yeah, I got I, that. I she's know sucking 100%. information out of you. No, she's gonna him. try to. She's gonna try to get herself some of that Randall Ding Dang is what's gonna happen. And I know if she hasn't already, she's going to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to trust me, Randall. <laughs> we talked about that social IQ earlier. I might as well be a fucking genius, you know. Well, here's here's the Let uh, me fucking the tell outsider you. looking at. You. The outsider looking at things. This is I how I, I think you're fine. I trust you 100. It's that one, mm-hmm. right? So she's gonna be like, it's gonna be like two in the morning, and you guys are gonna be out. Thing, you're gonna be out at a bar, and she's gonna be like, oh, and you oh, take me home. Where, 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 and Randall's gonna be like, oh yeah, 
I don't think you I got this Dodge Ram. I did that so I got one the Ram. time for somebody else. I got this Ram. Ram. I had to fucking she's hear gonna, about it. She's going to try to go for it. And and like, yeah, I'll take you home. No problem. And everyone, no problem. It's a lot harder when you're inebriated, you know? So it's like, just fucking, just, when that time comes, Randall, I hope you just picture my face on hers. <laughs> So you want <laughs> also, me to do it? Hold Wait, on, hold on, hold on. Can hold we get on. deep into this now? Because now I'm confused. Also, if that does happen and you see your his face on her and you try and look away, just imagine me going. <laughs> <laughs> or imagine you have a cheering Fine, section but... in the back and it's just me and Steve just like literally doing this. Just and then play that bump 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 sound, the disappointment sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna see that face, hear that sound, and be like, "Yeah, All right." I'm there. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing too hard. In my head. I so I heard I, I needed to. Co- I, I came into work early, so I came. Wait what? <laughs> what? Wait what? <laughs> in the movie, they're talking oh, about. Okay, I was like, wait, hold yeah. on. <laughs> I thought we were still on the same That's subject. Right. I was like, first off, you work at I home. This is real talk. So I guess this is most believable with you than me and Randall. I got to work <laughs> early came. today. Yeah, well, I got to work, and that is not what happened. <laughs> you pulled a fucking tick off your balls. No, I fucking, yeah. Was that today? To talk about this. It was this morning. This oh, is I'm so horrible. sorry. I got a headache and a fucking pain, a, a, a painful ball bag that looks leopard. I went to work for leopard. two hours today. That's cool. That's that was awesome. nice. That is nice. I'm not going in tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like shit. No, uh, there's there's a hole in my bean bag. I can't I can't make it in. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. There's a hole in my bean bag. Do you have a least favorite character, Wally? The main character. I know this is going to be controversial, but not really. I, I explain yourself. A man that so as a, at a young age, adult with confidence issues, and it's really frustrating to watch someone it's deal with that. Frustrating, you know. So it's so like frustrating. I watch, <laughs> I watch my friends sometimes deal with being confident, and this dude is like the epitome of not being confident at anything at all. So it's Mike like, stinks. and I get that's who he is, and that's how the movie is set up. But it's just that's why it's so cringy for me to watch a lot of the scenes with him, and it's hard for me. To, I, I get what you're saying. Now I will say you're, he's you're letting yourself get beat up, man. Like these people are douches. So it, well, letting, yeah, I, I will agree that he is. Do that he you, does man. have a, a confidence issue, but there's a lot of scenes that show that he's not that bad there's you scenes, know what i mean there's scenes with him growing well no movie. not only that but like scenes where he's showing that yeah okay he doesn't have confidence with girls but he's still a respectable person where like the yeah. the part where the lady leaves his, her coat and she he just says fuck yeah, yeah, yeah whatever bad confidence so being a good person in confidence you don't those are not the same thing. No, right? what I'm saying so is, not, yeah, yeah, he's just unconfident with women once they show something towards him. Because again, him in general with everything, like his his self image, the 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 way he talks, like the way he communicates is even the same. Like the way he's like he's talking, looking down in a way yeah, at all points. Yeah, the whole movie, yeah. it's like, I'm like, come on, man. But I mean, I feel like that's him as a character in any movie yes. he's been in besides Goon. Yes. Um, because in Goon, he's just the best character I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Bra-ba-ba-ba. Halifax. <laughs> yes, but that's mine. Yeah. That's that's the reason I'm. Not I got a big you. Fan. My my least favorite character, least favorite character is Marnie as well, the ex girlfriend or whatever the fuck it was. Because she when you cut. do break it down, like, it's just get the fuck out of his life. You know what I mean? Like, you either want to be there or you don't want to be there. And then like, who is that guy that's there with them? Like, that's her new boyfriend, sure, but. Why is he there hanging out all the time? It's just it's a fucked up situation. I know they're doing it for the movie's purpose, but if you're looking at this as like a real world yeah. type thing, like do your thing with him, not at your ex boyfriend's house. Yes. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. What a bitch. And then when <laughs> that she makes feels me angry, dude. right? That when makes me so frustrated. When he finally comes home to his house, yeah, or his parents' house, and brings his new lady. She gets like all jealous and like, fuck, fuck, well, I'm gonna dress up now. Like, you know, let me I show you. you. That's <laughs> that is a <laughs> very <laughs> realistic <laughs> thing. By the no, way. it is, and that's why that's I said this movie feels very that. real. Real, but like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's like my favorite argument winner. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I looked like it up either. that in the been... dictionary right next to <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> she was definitely a fucking close second for me too. So. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. All right, favorite parts are scenes. Now Randall can talk. Yeah. yeah. The fucking, I completely forgot about the scene 
when they first started making out when they got back to her apartment completely forgot about that until they started oh, making the, out is this the oyster yes thing? oh yeah yes that was forgot weird. about it that's cringy and that's where i realized this a lot of the scenes in the movie were cringy as fuck because i was like oh my god <laughs> this is very uncomfortable but it's done in a way to make you feel that way right yeah, like it's doing I, it on purpose yeah, yes. yeah i get i got that but then like the family coming over. He can't get up because he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 but you guys no. just take a load you off. Sit down. Shake my dad's hand. And then me. the dog comes up and start like starts licking it. That's the part there, I didn't understand. There's also a point of no return, right? I think all of us have been there, like where something so weird is happening. You gotta get out. You gotta either get out or you gotta immediately. That's just, not true. You gotta man up. I've I told you my sharding story before. Oh yeah, well, let's yeah. hear it. That one I stayed no. there. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell that story. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's what I'm saying. You do, wait, okay, so tell me this again. Hold well, on. Hold on. I, I want to just wait. The dog went up and started licking him. He could have just oh. played it off as a dog was licking. Oh. He got away from that. Well, but he but, left anyway. But, but, okay, so you're in the situation, and you, you don't know how to act, and he is a... A weird... A weird kind of... Yeah, a saw, yeah Steve. right, exactly. So <laughs> if I was in that situation, I would probably be like... Uh, <laughs> the dog peed on me. Look, uh, I don't know what happened. That's where I my got, story comes in play. Honestly, they were drinking wine, right? Whoopsies. Wine. Yeah. You might have There's a lot of things he could have done. But the movie's written that way, so it is what it it's is. Clearly not sure. that kind of guy. Yeah. No, he, he didn't he didn't ever feel like he was a thinking on his feet type person. No. He felt like a, I need a plan and I'm sticking to it, but I'm thinking and looking at every other person that I know, tell me what to do. Yes. Because let's be real, everything he does in this movie is one of his friends telling him what to do. Yeah, and him just fucking failing miserable. Mine, I did like the scene where he goes to tell her or goes to explain what had happened. Right. Or to talk to her while she's doing that, whatever that event is. Mm -hmm. And he Jack he finally mans up to it. Yeah. That was one of those character building yeah. things. I was like, yeah. I forgot job, that buddy. he did that. And I was like, he should probably just fucking tell her. And then he's exactly. Like, oh, okay, well, he yeah, only yeah. tells her because the good looking friend tells him to own it and just yeah. go fucking exactly. tell her. Exactly. That's the no return shit that I'm telling mm -hmm. you about, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah. if you want to be successful in being human that's the no return that's where you're like okay well it's time you can't fuck around anymore exactly right you gotta <laughs> so, own it and getting out isn't really not a healthy option i'm a i'm a very avid believer in getting out is not a healthy option. just fucking man up you know oh i got what you're saying like just, if you're in a situation oh, oh, i oystered my drawers yeah like, fucking big old deal. oyster yeah and everyone's been on both sides right so well, you know, I get what you're saying, where if you're in a situation, if you just like, uh, uh, later, you're making it worse. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Because it's, like she said, she fucking just straight up stopped talking to him because yeah. why would you do that? And she even says, like, you, you don't you. know like, why. It's, it's, right. it's just because he has social low anxiety, social IQ. Social, yeah, yeah. And if it was me, I would have just like, yeah. I wonder if that's an actual term. I use that, be. and I don't know if it's an It might be social term. anxiety is what you're looking for. Well, no, mm. social, I, so it's just or being social, able to read people, right? Socialitis. Or, or read a room, right? That's yeah. the ter people, yeah, yeah, terms people use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Read the room, yeah. sir. Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out. Get in there, talk to them. No, welcome person. here. Sorry. Like, you immediately get up to a person, you, you talk to them. The first few words, you kind of can tell, are you going to shake this person's hand? Like you, there's so much information gathered on an initial meeting with someone that you can make a, some presumptions about a person um, as soon as you do that. And I feel, I feel like people with low social IQs kind of just botch, you know, like, like that you like Peacock when he like does the fist bump. It happens to everybody, but you know what I'm saying? Like that on steroids can happen to people. And I feel yeah. like that happened to him all the time in this movie. Well, you look at the scene where, um, right after he tells her what happened, uh, Cam comes up to him and like yeah. takes him aside, like talking like, "Yo, you're gay, basically." And he doesn't <laughs> yeah. say anything because he's like, "Whatever makes the situation end soon, you know." Yeah. And I mean, That's is it wrong? Coin. That's so. what I'm saying. Is it wrong for him not to say anything because who is this guy to him? He knows obviously yeah. that their ex boyfriend. Like he doesn't fucking want to talk to him. Oh, when he pulls him aside and walks right, right, and then they they all see that it says foot long on the side of the fucking airplane. And <laughs> uh, I noticed that for the first time yesterday. Shoot a man down. Yeah. It's funny, mm -hmm. but that's how everything is. I watched Soul Plane <clears throat> two days ago, right? Okay. No, yeah, two that, days ago. Is there any white people in that movie? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's what's his face. So then this movie's terrible, and that movie's great. Dan Aykroyd, right? I love Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, yeah. Dan, he's the he's the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd's in it. Their the family's name is the Honkies. That's you, not racist. If you want a racist movie, <laughs> holy 
fuck. But it's okay because it's so plain. Go watch this. I watched it and it's racist to everybody. They bring a, a I guess the era of movie, they bring a like a like a Middle Eastern dude on the plane. And everyone's like, oh, fuck no. It's like all, all the black people are like, hell no. And then they show his face and you're like, oh, God, really? Holy shit. <laughs> There's so many bad parts. It's ridiculous. Every scene's like that. Actually, every fucking scene is like that pretty much the whole movie. Ew. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> I, I ate that shit up. It was cringy as shit. I ate that shit up. I, it was so no, cringy. No, 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 no. I, it was hilarious. It was so fucking hilarious. Did you say your favorite scene? Oh, it's Slapshot Regatta, 100%. Slapshot Regatta. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. It really is. And I like, I, I mentioned this to my wife when we were watching it. Like, that basement just looks like every basement in Canada. So, like, it makes <laughs> sense. Not just because That's there's why hockey shit. I asked shit. you about it, right? I was <laughs> like, how realistic is this? Right, not just because there's hockey shit in there, just because it's like old and like, how would I say, cinder block walls yeah, and yeah, like yeah. just shitty, like, you know. Make sure you only go number one. We got very delicate pipes. I think you know? that's like the average family's. I think she can do more than one. She's a guest here. <laughs> that's just that middle class family rambler. Yeah, at that time. Home, and well, obviously you know, you're in Pennsylvania too. You Steel City, everything was built in like the 50s and still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the woods. In that's the not, woods. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Woods. I love walking into houses like that. If oh, yeah. You know, they, I feel at home every time I walk into a house like that. Well, so like I'm watching the new season of Stranger Things and I keep going, man. Every house there just feels warm and inviting. They've and that's always, how it I haven't was. watched the new season, but they always do a great job Watch the new of season. like immersing you in that shit. Yeah, yep. and that's what I'm saying. Like those all the wood and the, the big thick carpets and like all the cool shit the on the walls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just felt wallpaper. Well, just the wood paneling and well, like everything. When was the last time you saw wallpaper? Never. Unless it's like super weird, like textured wallpaper well, yeah, that's just it's white. It's so fucking weird. But it's out, you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. it's not in style anymore and it is what it is. So my favorite parts are scenes. I had a couple just because I always do because it's me. The pool scene is fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Right? Just that's how great, he's asking her about. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because he's asking her about the, the underwear. Oh, yeah, just wear your undies. You know, whatever. He's he's wearing that's them. pretty much a bandsuit anyway. Right. And then uh, even like the dude trying to hold his breath underwater for like a minute. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so realistic, even though they're like in their 30s, what, what seems like. That was the first inter That was the, the first time they saw her. Yes. Too, right. Yes. So yeah. that was, yeah. That, right. That was a big scene, too. That There's also scene. another thing about this movie that was weird to me. Pepsi is everywhere in this movie. I feel like oh. they were sponsored by Pepsi. They had to be. Literally, in the background, there's Pepsi shit everywhere. At the dinner table, they're drinking Pepsi. When the girl... Uh, you, the, you're a Coke person, 100%, right? Are you a Pepsi person? I will... I, I You know, it's weird. I like Coke, but I don't go out and buy Coke. I don't buy Pepsi. You know what I mean? So I it's, I'm like, I don't know. cocktails. That's it. What are you buying? Coke or Pepsi? Oh, Coke, one hundred percent. Right. I'll buy. I'll buy the cheap shit now too, because it's like ten bucks for a twelve right. pack. So, well, nobody says give me okay. a rum and Pepsi. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's a rum and Coke, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. And even though a lot of those fucking spouts are Pepsi, we just don't know. No one fucking cares. Anyway, uh, but yeah, my other favorite part is the family dinner right after that when they're all at the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is really good. Like how they're just interrogating her and she's just very like nicely like i've been through this before i'm you know i can tell you whatever you want to and then finally like the one dude's like you know you, you do pretty well for yourself huh yeah, yeah what no. are you doing with this guy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no panties and <laughs> right yeah that, and then them yeah. talking about the wedding and just like you know get a home depot on the back <laughs> I'm like, get an orange jumpsuit 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 <laughs> Or uh, he's saying that like he's got I can make any car into a convertible in fifteen minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, that one's good. Yeah, it's that is a big funny. scene too. And then I I really like the first dinner date as well. Them sitting down and like her when the boyfriend rolls up. Right, but it, just before that, like she's literally she knows he's nervous, you know, and she even says, "Are you nervous?" And he's like, "Yes, I'm very nervous." And she's like flattered by that almost, right? Like you can tell she's like. I like this, the fact that, like, I'm not with a person who's just overconfident yeah. and, like, a douchebag, you know? Like, she's yeah. seeing, like, a person differently in her world, you know what I mean? Like, to me, I don't know, it's it's kind of endearing for that character. You're seeing her kind of grow into what yes. she thinks she wants, possibly. Yeah. So, Which is I, good. I liked it. I always think people should date. Go out and date. Say we should mate. Ex. What? Date. Go out and mate. <laughs> but figure out, figure out what you're into, man. Down here. I oh told God. you it's, it's a little nippy. It's not bad. I'm fine now, but I also got a blanket yeah, on. You got a blankie. It's a basement, guys. It's supposed to be nippy. It's supposed to be cold. <laughs> so he's also from Canada. So it's going to be a little like maybe three degrees colder down here. Maybe Trace. four. 
I don't know. It's probably like 68 degrees. What does that degrees. thermostat set at, Miss Goldie? Uh, I keep it at like 72. Really? Yeah. I thought you'd be like a, like a 66 or nah, 67. Nah. God, I, I, like, I like money. <laughs> True. So True. 72 feels real good. Yeah. So when I'm, when I'm not at and home. And a fan. When I'm not at home during the day, it sits at 75. But as soon as I get home, it's, six, it's 68. 75? I'm, I'm off 75. What you should do is keep it at 70 because if you're going from a degree to another degree, you're also working your equipment harder and possibly you're changing how much your cabinets inside your kitchen can accommodate, uh, sorry, acclimate, acclimate, oh my God. What? (laughs) What's the word I'm looking for? (laughs) Acclimate. Acclimate. Thank you. (laughs) I'm not good. I'm not good at speech. Acclimate to the weather around it so you could start warping your cabinet doors and shit. Good. I want that shit out. Yeah, they need to get redone anyway. <laughs> they just need okay, no, we'll it's all it, solid wood. It needs to get painted. That's all it is. Or sanded and painted. It's my whole day. house is solid wood. It's great. But it's also terrible at the same time because that means I have to take it all down and redo it myself. Let's just paint them white. Yeah, that was I mean, if I want to modernize. It's this is the thing. I got a new dog. Let that dog tear up what he used to tear up. Rusty like coat. house. And then when the dog is good and he, everything's clean, I'll go and do the trim and I'll do all the walls. What you should do is, is get new doors for your cabinets and then just mm. paint the cabinets yeah. themselves get rustic oh. white like the, you know like the the sanded little bit it's kind of worn don't let him tell you what to do do what you want to do you just told <laughs> him what to do <laughs> <laughs> honestly a lot of the insides are unfinished anyways so i mean right. that's not a bad idea yeah and then you can go to ikea and get like a cool looking door that matches whatever you want to do make it modern super modern horizontal grain like we talked about i don't know if you remember are you still telling him what to do? I'm not telling <laughs> you what like to do. It's a recommendations, right? I'm giving him suggestions. Okay. I'm yeah. not telling him what to do. So that way when you fucking to make it fair, on something, it splits to perfectly be through the fair, whole thing and not just the center. To be <laughs> fair. To be paw. I said you should. Okay. Well, the engineering flaw in my kitchen is they, they put the, the dishwasher underneath whatever my counters are made of the and dishwasher. they started splitting my, my counters. So that's probably... I don't even know. I, I, I've, I've looked at it, but I don't remember. It's either marble. It's, it's not marble. No, it's, it's probably Corian. Yes. Is it, it is. how thick does it feel? Like half inch? Yeah. It's Corian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love it. Of them, but whatever material that is, it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. I like it. My kitchen's nice. I like it. Were we entertained by She's Out of My League? Yes. 100% entertained or just like, hmm, all right. I'm at like an 80. Yeah. An 80. Let's be honest with myself. Like, That's cool. Would we recommend it to our mothers? Probably not. Okay. Yeah, probably not. From the from the oyster scene, I don't th- no, I don't think I'd recommend. <laughs> I don't think my mom is in this kind of in into this kind of comedy. I got you. You know, so like any of these movies, genre like American Pie stuff like that. Any of these, I don't think my mom would be too into. I got you. There's only like two movies on this whole podcast that we've we're now on episode seventy three that I've never recommended to my mother. One was The Pest, and the other one was uh, Expendables Two. This movie, yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. The Pest is fucking terribly hilarious. The shower scene in Take the Take the second word out and you're right. <laughs> it's just so... John Leguizamo, it's the dumbest fucking movie. I can say Leguizamo, but I can't say... Hilarious. Whatever I was trying to say. I, lo- I love the past. Acclimated, Acclimate. acclimated, yeah. The movie's... Ba- it's bad. It's so bad, it's it's good for me. <sighs> Didn't you say your mom sorry, called no, you the other day and said the last podcast we did was like... Really good, yeah. 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 She, oh, she God. It, yeah. Your mom listens to these? Some she listens to the last one, apparently. Oh, fuck. She likes you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm currently in healing. Oh, is that the 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 uh, adventure uh, Ted? And is that the tapping guitar, the air guitar? That's from that? actually from Beat It. Oh, is oh that's Eddie Van Halen. Right after there's the pinch, the pinchy mm-hmm. harmonics. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I tried to change it up a little bit. Nice. Oh, yeah. I don't got many uh, fun you think facts you for get this. Fucking tapped on YouTube for that. Yeah. Well, no, because it's not part of the whole song, right? It's you just a solo. Have Wally make that. We could, but you know what? He wasn't here when I did it, so yeah. well, he's here now, I guess. Yeah. That fucking solo I did on that intro song is banging. It really is. We should go into really business is. for that. I can we do that like a thousand times over if you needed me to. I need <laughs> so I need to make one for my company. Oh yeah, I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tell me, I'm, whatever you want me, yep. you want me to make it like country so, to, to appeal to all the locals. That'd be dope. All chicken pick right. shit out of that. Uh, the Pink Panther, Panther theme song. Oh, wait, say that again. Pink Panther theme song. Oh, it's Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Do a Pink Panther into Mission Impossible. That'd be great. Well, so we're, uh, we're we're platinum through Owens Corning, and their mascot is the Pink Panther. 
Oh, okay. So their song is the Pink Panther theme song. Yeah, but I've been it. using this fucking dubstep one for all my videos I've been making. I need something new, dude. I can see. I can do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, that'd be dope. Until 20 seconds good. done. Eh, I'll, like 15 uh, I'll engineer it for you guys. I'll be the, <laughs> I'll be the guy. Fucking the, sorry, I produce it. I'll be the producer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll be the do Rick Rubin. He'll be our Rick you didn't Rubin. do it right. Do it again. Do it. <laughs> you got any more input? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got input. It's wrong. You're gonna miss this butt, you jackass. <laughs> yeah, jackass. Molly's parents are played by Alice Eve's real life parents, Trevor Eve and Sharon Moggin. Moggin. M A U G H A N. That's Moggin to is me. That, is that Irish? Oh, Molly's parents were actually her parents. Yes. Oh, so cool. Alice Eve, gotcha. who is the actress, mm -hmm. those were his his her yes. real parents. She was definitely a her. Well, you never know these days. She's 100% her. You never know these days. Because, my God. It's just a big clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking what? testosterone. I mean, I've been taking testosterone. What? Oh, Jesus. This isn't an Adam's apple. I was hitting the throat as a child. <laughs> you flicking this bean over here? <laughs> that's a potato, man. <laughs> that's a, that's it's like a, a red potato. <laughs> Have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother where the one black guy's like, that's a penis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great TV show. Such a good fucking TV show. Oh, During right. the scene at the airport with Kirk, Marnie and his friends, right before his double date with Molly at the hockey game, if you look carefully, you can see Kirk has Molly's iPhone in his hand. That's because it was originally supposed to be earlier in the film, right after he finds her phone. It was moved in editing. Oh, nice. Little things. It's little things. Right. So they like filmed it in a certain way and then went, mm, works a little better if we do it this way. I like fit when people fix the continuity things. Right. I also like how it wasn't a phone. It was an iPhone. Oh. When was when? So this is 2010. This is right when iPhone, like the first iPhone or iPhone 3GS yeah. came out. Yeah. Because you can see it before had the double that, whatever. It was just what? the music shit, right? So it was the iPod. Yeah. That's what was big. Right. Before that, right? Yeah. You guys mm -hmm. remember having a shuffle? Mm-hmm. The shuffle was so fucking cool. Do you remember the shuffle? Uh, so Steve? I, I never had an iPod or iPod shuffle or anything. The shuffle was the little one that just had the little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. you had it. Oh, it was you, great. You had the was it the square one that you could like clip, or did yeah, you oh have? Yeah. I thought I was the, the coolest long fucking one. person ever. I think that wasn't the nano. The nano, yeah, 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 yeah. I had a fucking Zoom, so. Oh, that's gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had a CD player that I put in my oh, pocket. I have one of those too. <laughs> guys, you, well, I know we, we did. You guys have the shockproof walk, like the CD player, that yellow one, the yellow and black yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shockproof my ass. Yeah, yeah I know, did, right? Fucking work. And it got worse. Over Hit the time. bass boost on it. Goes from "Hey guys," to <laughs> <laughs> it got. I remember like a year and a having it. If I even like flicked it, it was like. <laughs> 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 fucking people don't know nowadays. Like they don't. You burn a CD and like you put it. Somewhere and it scratches like six songs go to like sounding good to like. So I was watching this show, um, and they started talking about how the word album is for like older people, which it is. Is it though? Because everything nowadays everyone talks like EP releases. Yeah, but I mean, releases. if you put out like a ten plus. I album. don't know because I feel like I, record would be the word. I see album all over Spotify. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. How long has the word been used to describe a record release? Album? Yes. <laughs> long ass <laughs> there time. There's your answer yeah, right there. So it's for old Fuck. people. The so then what would you call it? I feel uh, like people. You can't call it a CD lost. release, right? Like a lot of people say, ooh, you hear the new whatever CD. Well, it's on Spotify only or whatever, so it's not a CD. So album. People don't. Mm -hmm. You it's can't really call thing. it anything, right? Well, because if it, if it only comes out on streaming services, which let's be real, it might. EP might be what it would be. You know what I mean? Because so an EP is people are doing four three to five. People are doing like four song releases now, and it's not even or, or even one. Right? Well, they're splitting albums the up. Well, there's yeah, exactly. So it's all it's all money grabbed now. So so it's you, like it's not considered an album until you're at six songs. Oh, so is that anything technical? under that? Yeah, according to whom? Probably the, the definition. I'm just asking. I'm not. Every, I'm every, not being uh, well, shitty. I'm just asking. So yeah. I guess Spotify. Okay. Would consider anything under six. So like five and below. Five and below. Um, is I've an been to EP, that store. But after that is an album. Album. Yes. The music in this Anal movie is that cover. bad too. By the way, what the music in this movie is not that bad. It really, yeah. There's a couple good songs in here. It, it's not a music centric movie no, where no. they're like every cut. There's like a big song or something. But like there's the cover some, band. You know, cover band's good. 
uh, uh, adult education. <laughs> yeah, all fucking. What is it? Hall and uh, Oates. Hall, all Hall and Oates. We're, Hall and Oates cover band. You guys are good. We're going to listen to some Hall and Oates and maybe some other. And he's like, nope, nope. Oh, just, just more Hall and Oates. <laughs> I would go listen to a full Hall and Oates cover yo band kiss, in a heartbeat. Yo kiss is so Strictly Billy Joel's list. cover. <laughs> Strictly 80s Joel. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Get it right. Mixer. But I, I, I really like Hall and Oates, man. Man Eater is one of my favorite songs of all time. I can't go for that. You yes. can't? Or you no, no, can't? no, 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 no. It's one of their songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I got I you. Yeah. Go for that. Mm-hmm. Fucking, uh, you make my dreams come true? Come on. Oh, yeah. Make my dreams come true. Yeah, it's so good. Ooh, ooh. Also, is the goal song for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh. So every time they score a goal at home, <laughs> <laughs> the dress that Marnie wears when Molly and Kirk are at lunch is the same one that Molly's sister suggested when they were shopping before their first official date. Was that that red one? That one with, like, the weird circles the wait, on it? The waiter, where you thought it... No, no, no. So, okay, uh, right when when um, Molly, her friend, and her sister are in the shopping center, like, shopping for dresses. Oh, okay. Her sister so pulls out this dress, part. and they're both like, ew, I wouldn't wear that. Well, no, Marnie puts that on after she gets jealous and comes out. She's wearing that same oh. dress. Mm. So it's kind of funny. I... I yeah, it's fun. Mm. Nice. Not wearing any underwear. Ugh. They put their fucking forks down. I don't, I don't find that as as no. attractive. Put your fucking panties on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> put put to, that bird away. Nobody wants to hear the fucking flaps going on. Put that bird <laughs> away. Gust of wind, you're going to fucking smell everything. Cage put that animal, goddamn. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Lace for taste. <laughs> If our one host was here, he would say, oh, I don't wear any underwear anytime I fucking Oh, yeah. That's the last so time he was much here. Didn't worse have any when on. you're a fucking guy, got that too. Moose Although, going. I oh. might have saved my ball back this morning if yeah, I wasn't probably. Very wearing. true. No, you probably would we too. learned something today. I don't think it would have stuck to my, my jeans. Yeah, that's what you think. Oh, uh, you could be right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Depends on the fabric. I'm not a, sci- I ain't a scientist. I ain't no scientist. Speak English, Doc. <laughs> I ain't no scientist. <laughs> You've been halved. <laughs> It's the worst case of being cut in half with a machete they've ever seen. <laughs> Speak English, Doc. We ain't scientists. I love that goddamn movie. It's so good. Have you guys done that? You hear that? I'm doing seven year old girlfriend. I'm doing, I cannot make you a candy house. It will melt in the sun. <laughs> we haven't done that movie. That's a good one. That's a great one. Yeah. Sorry, Randall. Have you seen Walk Hard before? <gasps> Paul's no, big fat cunt. So You've never seen Walk Hard? It's good. It's really good. It's 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 good. It's hilarious. Clearly, I've been here for what ten, ten, ten episodes now. More than that. Oh, there's, there's yeah, as I say. More? Yeah, yeah. You've, You've been, been here, here for a while. You should know by now. I haven't months. seen shit. I figured you would see that movie because it's like music, and it came out when you were I've seen school. <laughs> in okay, let's do it <laughs> in ways that make, make us feel, feel good. good. And then the end, <laughs> we could always come in my back door. <laughs> it's so good. It's so fucking good. It really is. And I figured you'd, you'd seen it because it's Pam from The Office. Jenna Fisher? Yeah. Huh. I forgot about that. Actually. Have you seen Blades of Glory? Yeah. That's like the same time that movie, whatever, man. In the movie, Shut Kurt up. is told that Molly has a defect, which turns out to be, I'm going to fuck this word up. You ready? Syndactyly. Or as it is more commonly called, web toes. I don't think you said. So why? S Y N D A T. Sorry, D A C T Y L Y. Syndactyly. Look, that's that's evolution at its best. You, you want web toes? Fucking, fucking swim. Web right, that's what I'm saying. You want web toes? Bro, she doesn't yeah. even need fuck. What are they called? Uh, uh, flippers? Flippity flops? What yeah. are they called? Flippers. Yeah, flippers. Yeah, I fucking I would thin up and race Michael Phelps. In reality, actress Alice Eve, who plays Molly, has heterochromia. Her right eye is green and her left eye is blue. Hot. Nice. I don't know why. I like different colored eyes. Can you get a handicap sticker for that? (laughs) Probably. (laughs) Get disability. I I can't see the right thing. I had this talk the other day. Like, where does the line get drawn? Is it like when... I'm going to see if I'm on the spectrum. and I'm going (laughs) to see if I can get a handicap sticker. Steve, you're pretty blind. You actually might be able to get one for parking. Is that it's very true because I can't make out <laughs> you your risk, faces. You risk losing your license, though. You go there. Yeah, I like, know, I right? I can't see when I drive. They're like, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I came yeah. for a handicap sticker. Fuck. Well, you're going to take an Uber home. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> God damn it. I'm trying to beat the system. 
Well, hey, that's all I got. So okay. let's go. go, go, go. <laughs> We're gonna do. Oh let's, go, let's, let's gooey. <laughs> let's gooey our favor, our, our final decisions. On she's out of my league out of ten. Six five. Six point five. He's gooeying his final decision. Gooey gooey. Gooey gooey. Go Randall, I give you? it seven point five. Seven point five. Seven. Nice. I am gonna give it a seven. Nice. So our averages seven. Seven. Nice. Leonard Washington. Math. Seven. Seven. Yeah, I think uh, I think this movie is pretty all right. There's nothing exactly. really amazing about it. There's nothing really bad about it. It doesn't overstay its welcome, even though it's a little long. But it's still it's telling a full story. There's no part that I would say you could take out without risking the entirety of the movie. You know, kind of degrading from it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could have taken out them shaving his balls or whatnot, but it's still funny. <laughs> no, no. It makes because the movie better. The bedroom. She was like, "Ooh, interesting." Right. And then him doing that. <laughs> 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 it's fucking good. It's I don't, do I don't think there's anything gay about it. It's very masculine in reality. Did you guys ever do that? Did you ever do that when you were young, like, and then after shaved your balls? Did you guys ever do that? <laughs> no, you psychopath. <laughs> you psycho- I want to feel alive, damn it. I didn't know any better. Well, you live and you learn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, uh, and again, like I said, I'm this a movie. poster boy for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hole in my bean bag right now. Yeah. Don't put aftershave on it. Yeah. I love, my fucking ball bag looks like it. Like a leper. It went through <laughs> right now. Yeah. It went it through looks, war. It looks like stu- what is it? The bombed the, out and depleted. What? What is that uh, joke we said earlier? A topographical map of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Deadpool? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like right now. So, ball bag aren't it's not pretty to begin with, right? No one's ball bag is. Oh, looks well, like a brain, baby. maybe, depending on how you flex it. <laughs> the wi- the bat wing. And it's only one side. <laughs> What was that one joke in if, Family Guy where he's just like, if you looked at my my balls, I figured you'd see the the seam and think I was made from two different people sewn together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh my god, it looks like my ball bag looks like Two Face from the Dark Knight. Which so the, the newer one? <laughs> so one side's fucked up. So there's the other teeth. Good. There's teeth that you can see. <laughs> There's a there's a distinguishable face on one side. <laughs> my I don't know if that's and impressive or not on the other. <laughs> my ball bag has a face. You're gonna like to see it. I feel like it's I'm distinguished. Gonna have, you know that feeling when you get, got a mustache when you get in the shower, right? And you have like a cherry, and you like you have to be like very careful to not let soap a fall cherry? down it. Like a like a like a boo boo. <laughs> Oh, a ch- okay. A cherry. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. You know, what I'm talking a cut. About? I've never heard it called a cherry. A before. cut. No. You don't want to get a cut full of soap. Yeah, yeah. I'm water. gonna have to be very careful this evening. I feel like I'm gonna have to. get... You said you were gonna put a shower cap or whatever. I don't You're gonna own put a shower pla- cap. Get a Ziploc a bag in some in Saran some wrap. I feel Saran like Saran wrap. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to get Tinfoil. something like Tinfoil. like Tinfoil. with some that sort of bad. waste like <laughs> like shape to it. That's like. Like a cutting board esque, so that way the water falls off. Just, just, uh, of just horse bath yourself. Just you what get in the whore, sink. What is a horse bath? You bathe oh, in the sink. Just like what? Oh, just fucking wash my hair in the sink. You just use the sink and like stay clothed and just wash just yourself. Use a baby wipe or baby wipe your body. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I have ones that are non-alcohol. Baby. <laughs> Good, you'd be clean. I oh, I guess it's not a baby wipe that has alcohol on it. I don't think I have. Those are the ones in your bathroom, anything. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. If you, if, you yeah, put, if I put that on my balls every time, <laughs> <laughs> well, I did that because of COVID, right? So those are in there. Just, yeah, but they're so and case. there's wipes. Sometimes you so if someone wants to use them, you can use them. Sometimes you need to wipe. After yeah, wipe you know your butthole with that. Yeah, you got to read it first. I, it's, that's an IQ test for me and anyone that comes into my house. So if they, <laughs> they, go they walk out and going, "Oi!" <laughs> and you're screaming, I'm like, "You're, you're retarded." <laughs> you retarded, didn't read that read, label, did you? buddy. Retarded, retarded. Somebody didn't uh, yeah. do their homework. Someone poisoned the water hole. <laughs> All right, so next week is Wally's pick. Oh. He's going to tell us what he wants to review now. So I have a... What lo- a good view right now. What a good view. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the what cell phone right later? in front of your face. <laughs> you're, you're, I, you're, so, I can look so... I, I know what so he's good. doing later, by the way. He's grabbing a Ziploc bag, tying it <laughs> yes. around his testicles with go, rubber bands. I'm powdering up as soon as I get home. Like, I'm going to fucking... Powdering. Poof, 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 poof. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this doesn't happen again. So the movie I want to do is I want to do... Uh, let's do something different because this is driving me nuts. I want to do. It's driving him nuts. <laughs> I want to do Dreamcatcher. Ooh. 
Ooh. See, this is why I like Dude, being on this podcast. Way different. I watched this. This is not something before. we've never fuck it. We've never done before. It's between this and the mist. That was the kind of what same I was same idea. I'm with you. But so, mist is for when I want you guys to be like. I want you guys to think you after you watch a movie that you need to go take a shower. You're gonna be like, oh, oh my god, that's how you end the, the fucking mist? movie. Oh. You've seen it. I know, but which at the end I get he shoots that his the family. Fog mixed up. Oh yeah, that one. So no, then yeah. the army comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Dreamcatcher, <laughs> I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a prerequisite for Dreamcatcher. The way this dude's mind works is the exact same way my mind works. <laughs> Could have been a great serial killer if he want to be wanted to be. That's all I'm gonna say. You gotta go in. You gotta watch it. <laughs> I think it's time to go home. <laughs> and you gotta. He's got a little warehouse. So it, the movie, the movie is a little. Uh, <laughs> it gets a little weird. Remember, it's a Stephen King Dream movie. Ca- oh. Okay, so I think you'll like it a lot. Actually. You'll like it, but there's some weird shit that happens, and there's some weird like, hmm, okay, but just be in it. So I'm about it. Yeah, so well, it's, night, it's like it's, it's like fine. watching it's like horror, but you're kind of X Filesy at the same time. It's good. Like the vibe, I'm home alone you know? for like the next couple of days, so I'm kind of excited. Perfect. To watch it. It's I, good. Like, a horror yeah, movie yeah. like that. Turn all the lights on. I think it's yeah. definitely like at I like night. Being scared. Like post dinner. <laughs> weird. No. What'd you say? I he like likes being to, scared. He likes to feel alive. I like nightmares. <laughs> I like, I'm gonna pretend what to like nightmares. I'm gonna pretend to like punch Any you. Nightmare. <laughs> I love nightmares. Sweet. <laughs> I, t- I don't. I- I'm just gonna be like jumping at you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you really like it? I'm gonna start tapping Watch on your, your corners, window. rookie. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your corners. Anyways, yeah. So next week we're gonna do dream catcher. It's gonna be great. But that's all that it's gonna be on this episode. I appreciate anybody who's been listening through the ball bag episodes, <laughs> the ball bag series. The ball bag and son of a bitch. The testicles. Oh, I got to come up with something good. Testicles. That was the bad managed. guy from Troy, right? Yeah. I'm glad we managed to get, <laughs> <laughs> glad we managed to get away from my sharding story. So it was good. Achilles. It's all good. Yeah. We, we were. Testicles. <laughs> these were the tales of Walter's balls. <laughs> it was a long walk. <laughs> Could have took an eagle the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody who's been here. Next week, Dreamcatcher. If you want to support us in any way, find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at the Decision Real What. I'm taking donations for subscriptions. He's taking donations for subscriptions to see his testicles My and how bad it is. His Wally three 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 five. And as Randall said, you can support us in other <laughs> ways by buying a T-shirt on our website whenever it feels like working. I think Teespring is down with those things right now, mm. but you can still message us and say hey I want one of these t-shirts or something like that I don't fucking care but again thank you for listening thank you for being there and supporting us and have a good rest of your day night thing I don't fucking know I love you bye bye